Well hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a slightly different video today. It's for the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Lips 28 Colour Lipstick Palette. Um, this isn't sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I really wanted to get my hands on this and the, the company actually kindly sent this to me, so um, this is like a product that I did get for free. But it costs like $10, which is like £7 or £6 maybe, which is absolutely ridiculous. I've seen a few of these um, reviewed online, I've seen Shanex O do a review on them, and they're meant to be absolutely amazing, so I thought I would give it a whirl. I haven't tried anything yet, so let me show you. So this is what it looks like, you can see we've got like a bunch of nudes, we've got some reds, pinks, sort of more natural mauve sort of colours. And then we've got a crazy, 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 crazy glittery thing that chances are I will get absolutely zero use out of that. But either way, um, I've decided to do like a lip lookbook, I guess, kind of like I do normally. Um, but this is just from one palette. And yeah, I'm going to cut this short because this is probably going to take me a really, really long time because it's 28 colours. And by the end of it, I'm sure my lips will be like falling off my face. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the lightest colour, which is this nudie one. Let me get my mirror, and let's do this. Okay, so right from the get-go, I can see that these are really, really creamy. So they're really, really creamy, and actually, for like a really pale nudie colour, um, they're really, really opaque. I wasn't actually expecting them to be this opaque. Like, I saw the videos, but... I know a lot of those videos were sponsored, so you kind of can't always tell, you know, maybe they threw on loads of the product beforehand. Um, but this is actually, I mean, it's not crazy pigmented, but then again, it's really, really quite pale, so it's not going to be insanely pigmented. Um, as for the colour, I think it's quite nice. It maybe looks, it kind of washes me out a little bit, but maybe if I had a bit of a tan or something, it might look a bit better. Now I have to take it all off. Now we'll go on to this sort of deeper nude colour. I really, really, really like this colour. It kind of reminds me of maybe like Velvet Teddy. Is that the one that she uses that looks like this? I don't know. The Kylie Jenner one. You know what I'm talking about. It looks like one of those colours. Um, again, really, really creamy. It feels really moisturising. It's got like kind of a slip to it, but I don't think it's going to move around my face at all. Um, I've done a really, really bad job of applying this, but... No, I really like this colour. Definitely like this one. Now we'll move on to this one. Slightly darker than the last one, I think. This is a bit more brown. Again, another really, really nice colour. I really, really like this one. Moving on to another light nude. Oh my god, this is really, really pale. So, this colour obviously doesn't suit me. Um, I don't know who it would suit, it's quite like a concealer-ish colour, I swear I used to look like this when I put concealer on my lips when I was like 13 years old, but if you do like this colour then it is really pigmented again like the other ones, so that is pretty good for something that's so pale I think, um, but we'll get it off quickly because this does not suit me. Then onto this sort of mauve colour, this one kind of looks like um, another Kylie Jenner one, you'll know the one I'm talking about. Let's see if it actually looks like it when I put it on. So this is quite like a muted, pinky, mauve sort of nudey colour. It is quite similar to one of the ones that Kylie Jenner wears. Again, I have no clue. I'm not like a huge follower of hers. Um, but I know this is like the sort of colour that everyone's gone mad for recently. Um, the next one though, it looks very, very promising. So we'll go on to that one. So we'll just go on to this one here. Please ignore the really shitty application, this one was really, really impossible to apply but the colour is amazing and I just got it all over my hands but I don't care, I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. I will learn how to apply this a lot better, probably got it on my teeth now as well. Yeah, but absolutely love this colour. Um, really sort of, I don't know, it's like a really deep nude but it's also kind of browny but it's also kind of mauve -y. I just really like it, I think this is probably one of my favourite ones so far. Now on to this deeper colour of the first row. Again, this one looks like it'd be really nice. This one's actually really, really soft. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. We're just going to have to leave it at that. This is really, really difficult to apply. I do really like the colour though, which is really annoying. Um, but it did take me way too long to actually apply this. Um, again, it's really opaque. There's some areas though that aren't as opaque, but 
Uh, they're not too bad actually, once you sort of like rub your lips together they kind of all come together a bit more. But yeah, really difficult to apply. I think you probably need like a matching lip liner or something with this one. So it's one row down, three to go. Okay, let's move on to this one now. Yeah, let's start from the lighter one then go up. So this is like another nudie mauvey shade that's kind of a bit more coral. Where's my mirror? There it is. I'm against the clock because my camera wants to run out of battery. But I'm not gonna let it. So that one was really, really easy to apply. I don't know if it's just like lighter or something. The colour is quite nice. Not something I'd necessarily go for. It's a bit too like orangey peachy for me. I normally go for something more like flat out orange um, than something a bit more peachy. Uh, but it's quite a nice like summery shade. I think this got like, it's almost got like gold flecks to it. I don't know if you can tell if I sort of move my head around, but it's kind of got like a gold sheen to it, um, which I think would suit someone with like darker skin or if you've got a really nice sort of glowy tan or something. Um, but again, applied really easily, really moisturizing on the lips. Um, yeah, I do like this. My lips are starting to hurt. Now we'll move on to this really, really bright pink. This will be interesting. Oh my God. So this is a super, super bright Barbie pink color. Not obviously something I would generally go for, but I actually quite like it. I don't know when I would wear it or if I ever will wear it, but as a color, I do actually quite like it, which is something I never really thought I'd say. Um, again, same sort of formulation as all the other ones. Really, really creamy, quite moisturizing. I mean, my lips are killing me right now but when I put the actual product on my lips, it's moisturizing enough to sort of mask that until I do this. Now moving on to more of a, like a orangey coral shade, I guess. Oh, this is really, really creamy. I don't know if it's creamy because it's creamy or because my lights are melting it, I'm not sure. There's a hair attached to it. I friggin' love this color. It's so bright and I've got it all over my hands. And I don't know when I would ever wear it, to be honest. I'll probably mostly use like the nude colours and then if I'm doing like a tutorial or something that's when I'll probably use a lot of these colours but I absolutely love this colour, I think it would look amazing on so many people um, it's almost like a tomato red colour um, slightly orange as well, slightly coral, it's really interesting, I've not really seen a colour like this before um, but no, I really do like it and this one was really creamy although this might actually be because the palette is slowly melting on me, maybe okay so now onto this middle one which is more like a red colour Really, really like this colour. This is probably actually one of my favourites. Actually, I think this might actually be my favourite, which is really, really strange for me because I don't normally wear red lipstick. But this is just like a really classic red to me. I feel like it complements my skin tone really nicely. Um, yeah, I just think it just looks really, really classic. Kind of looks a bit to me like, um, which is the one that everyone uses, like MAC. Is it Russian Red? I think it's Russian Red. Um, yeah, I really like this colour. It's also slightly more matte looking than the other ones. Not matte, but maybe a bit more satin. Um, and it applied really nicely as well. It sort of like adhered to the lips really easily. So yeah, I, I really like this one actually. I'm probably gonna wear this one very, very soon, which is something really strange for me because I never actually wear red lipstick out, even if I'm going somewhere fancy. Now we'll go on to this darker one here. If it's anything like the last one, I'm gonna love it. So the formulation of this one is really quite similar to the last, but I'm not overly keen on this colour. Again, ignore the application. This is actually just not my forte whatsoever. But I don't know, I do like it, but it's also kind of like a bit too warm, pinky tone to me. Um, it does make my teeth look a bit yellow as well, which isn't always the best thing. Um, but if it's your sort of colour, then the application, like the actual formulation, is really, really nice. It's just not my sort of colour, really. Next, move on to this darker colour. This looks a bit more like a berry toned colour, kind of. It kind of looks like the dark one from the first line. Ah, it's kind of like a blood red. So this colour is pretty much identical to the last one, only I think this one is a bit more mauvey than the other. Um, again, it's okay. It's not really something that I generally wear, but the colour itself is actually really nice and again the quality of the product is really nice as well, it's just not something that would necessarily suit me. Okay, now we'll go on to this lighter pink colour, it's kind of like a peachy, creamy, mauvey colour, for lack of a better word, I need my mirror. Again, really, really nice and creamy, really neutral, perfect if you sort of want to wear pink colours but don't really want to wear a pinky colour, that's kind of how I'm sitting right now. Um, but no, I really, really like this shade actually, it's really sort of natural and I think most people will be able to get away with it. 
Okay, now I move on to this even lighter pinky colour. It's kind of similar, it's kind of like a mixture between these two, I guess. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It might be a bit too pale for me, but we'll see. Wow, this is really opaque. I figured out exactly what this tastes like and smells like. It smells like royal icing. I mean, this colour definitely doesn't suit me. It looks bloody ridiculous on me, but you've got to hand it to them. Like, it's really, really opaque. I've never really had any lip sort of products that do come out that opaque when they're that pale. Um, but yeah, this colour is definitely not for me. Uh, I don't know who it would suit. Maybe someone with, like, literally white skin. Otherwise, it literally just look like, it looks like, I don't know, concealer on your lips or something. Thank God we're going a bit darker again. This is now another sort of, I was thinking it was kind of like that one there, but this one is a bit more pinky purple. Um, it might be like another Kylie Jenner shade. Let's give it a good go. This one was really, really easy to apply and I started putting it on and I thought, I'm not gonna like that. But now looking at it, I kind of weirdly like it. I don't know if it suits me, but I just like the color of it. I think it's like a little bit different. It's kind of like a, Mauvey, almost, I don't know, almost like a lilac-y colour, but obviously it's not lilac. I'm not 100% sure what sort of colour this is. Um, but it's really interesting, I've never really seen a colour like this either. It's kind of like a mixture of two colours. Um, yeah, no, I, I love this one actually, I'm sort of looking at it more and more and I'm thinking... Now I'm going to move on to this really, really deep shade. It's kind of like a bit of a berry shade, as you can see. The product is really creamy, you sort of give it a little whirl. And it is literally like a normal lipstick, but just in um, circle format. Ooh, baby. Again, another colour that I absolutely love. This would be absolutely perfect for autumn, winter. I don't think I'd get much use out of it for summer. But again, just so, so creamy. I'm really, really impressed by these. It just almost feels like a lip balm, this one. It applied really nice and easily, um, which is quite interesting because all of the other dark ones were quite difficult to apply. But no, I think this one's really nice. I think it's really good for sort of brunettes um, and probably blondes as well, but I don't know. Maybe I could get away with it like this. Look at my flannel. It looks like I've had like a fight with a paint shop or something. On to another one that's just like a slight darker variation of the last one. Let's paint this one on my face. Again, another one that was quite easy to apply and I like this one more than the last one. I'm really starting to like a lot of these darker colours. Uh, another darker purple. I'm starting to get very, very excited about these dark purples now. Ugh, oh, I love this so much. I don't know where, I need to go out more so that I can wear all these colours because there's so many nice like evening colours that I just would never go out and wear. But I absolutely love this. Doesn't even make my teeth look that yellow either. Bonus! Okay, now the last one of this row is, again, another variation of these four. This one's just slightly more of like a muted mauvey pink. I'm sorry, but you all know what I'm going to say here. Again, I absolutely love this colour. These four colours have really like... Whew, I love them. Um, let's go on to the next ones before my lips start bleeding. Next, I'm going to go in with this one, which is kind of like a pearlescent purple. I don't know how I feel about this. It looks kind of odd in the pan. It's not too bad. Again, not something I'd necessarily wear, but it doesn't look as bad as it did in the pan. And I think the actual like consistency of this is pretty nice. Oh. I just, like, grew on my mouth. Uh, let's just rub that way, I'm sure it never happened. Um, yeah, I do actually quite like this. Probably not something I'd actually wear, but the consistency is really nice. If I ever wanted to wear a colour like this, and I would definitely choose that colour. Next, I've got this really, really Barbie pink. This looks quite creamy as well. Not like the other one that was had, like, kind of like little flecks in it. Oh my god. And um, we also have a super crazy Barbie pink. 
this weirdly doesn't look horrendous on me, which I don't know how I feel about that. And another Barbie pink, this one's just slightly more, it's slightly more purple I guess, it looks a bit more neon, which is always fun. What on earth do I say about this colour? It looks ridiculous on me, but I love it. It's such a fun colour and I, I don't know, it's just so pigmented and it feels like it would be an expensive lipstick, like all of these feel like they'd be really expensive lipsticks, but they're probably like, I can't even do the maths, but if it's like six pounds and you get 28 of them, I don't know how many times 28 goes into six. I'm trying to work it out, but I'll just embarrass myself, but they're very, very cheap. That's all you need to know. Now moving on to a bright purple in the middle. This one looks fun. Ooh. Again, another one that I hate but absolutely love all at the same time. There's no way in hell I'd ever wear this, but I can't stop looking at myself. It's such a nice colour, but I look ridiculous, but I also kind of don't want to take it off. And it tastes like royal icing, which is like the best thing ever, and I think the caffeine that I drank a second ago has finally kicked in. Or it's just the excitement that I've only got three left. It's probably that, because my lips are like... No! Now onto this nice nudie pink one again. This one seems really, really creamy. Like they all do, but this one seems sort of like... Not like a matte cream, but almost more like a satin cream. Again, I quite like this colour. I'm not 100% sure if it suits me overly well. I feel like it would suit blonde a lot better. Um, but I don't mind this colour actually. I may consider wearing it out for something. Maybe not. Maybe I'd like wear it with something darker around the outer bits of my lips. Um, just to kind of give it a bit more dimension. Um, but I do actually really like this colour. Never in my whole life did I think I would like colours this bright and pink on my lips. And for the last colour we have another variation of this pink here. I hope it's a nice one. It's always good to end on a high, isn't it? Yeah. And last but not least we have a really nice muted variation of the last pink. I do prefer this one. I think I could probably get away with wearing this one. It seems like something that would be a bit more universal. Um, and you know what? Let's go ahead and try this really crazy glittery thing on top. Oh, I'm smudging everything in. I think I've ruined it. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know what this is. I don't know if I like it. Well, nothing really came of that. So I don't really know. Maybe I'll swatch it with my finger. This just feels like cheapiness to me. It's got big bits of glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that. This just feels like something you get in like a kid's makeup set, but I'm determined to get something out of it. I don't understand that at all. That's kind of like a waste. But then again, you do get 27 usable colours, so you can't really complain. So there we have it. All of these colours have been on my lips and now I feel like my lips have aged like 400 years. Um, I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry if I offended anyone then. My American Texas accent is not the best. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope some of you found it useful. Um, I really, really like the palette. Obviously I know some colours weren't necessarily suited to me, but they're not always going to be suited to me. Especially when there are like 28 colours, you can't expect every single one of them to be absolutely amazing. But I'd say definitely a good like 75-80% of them are really, really good. So all in all, I am really, really over the moon with this palette. I think it's really, really great value for money. Even if it wasn't like 7 quid, even if it was like 30 quid, I'd probably still buy it. Um, but it's £7, so that's always great. And also, I know that the company themselves is really, really good as well. Like, I know that they are um, cruelty-free, I think. They're paraben-free, and I think they're suitable for vegans as well. So that's always something good to know. I don't think shipping is overly expensive if you're getting it from, like, a US site either. So um, just double-check on that, but I don't think it's overly expensive anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and slather my face in lip balm now. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did like it let me know which was your sort of favorite color if you can remember all the colors because i certainly can't and yeah i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and i'm done see you later guys bye